Hi, this question um, was asked by my good buddy Jade. Um, he was actually my welding instructor in my first and second year pipe fitting school. Um, I <laughs> His question basically it was, why does my dog chew his stuffed toys to bits whenever I leave? Um, I have never personally purchased stuffed toys for my dogs for that ex same reason, exact same reason they they will chew and rip them to shreds and make a big mess. So uh, my recommendation for you, Jade, is to purchase toys that are a little bit hardier. So maybe something that's made of rubber or those rope toys um, are okay, but just be careful with them because sometimes the threads come off and, and that can cause the dog to choke. So um, pick toys that the dog pretty much can't destroy. Um, I personally, for Spanner, he gets um, bones raw meat beef knuckles from Pet Value, you can buy them, or any pet store I think has the, the actual bones and they still have some uh, meat on them. Um, be careful when you give those to your dogs though that you clean the area that they were eating it at because it is raw meat and it can cause issues of salmonella poisoning for us. Um, but anyways, it's a great idea to have um, bones for dogs to chew because it's very soothing for them. They need also the nutrients that they can get from the bones um, in their diet so um, especially if your dog is under six months old he may still be teething and prone to chewing um, if that's not the case um, another possibility is that um, if you're using the stuffed toys to play games like fetch for example um, fetch is actually a way of mimicking and training your dog to become a honed and skilled hunter um, as the dog is chasing down the prey, um, the, the object or the toy is like prey and they're basically going to shake it when they catch it and shred it to pieces like they would a kill. Um, uh, the other thing too sometimes is if you play tug of war with the toys, um, that actually brings out almost a, a hierarchy type dominance um, issue between you and the dog because I mean it's much like a wolf uh, two wolves fighting over a leg, a deer leg from a carcass, um, and whoever ends up getting that leg gets to eat it. So <clears throat> maybe when you leave he feels that he um, is winning the tug of war and gets, or he has won, and he gets to chew that prey to bits. So I mean that could be what's going on there. Um, sometimes damaged property in general is due to lack of exercise structure. Um, and boredom uh, because they're not getting an outlet um, for their aggressions or their, their prey instincts. Um, so I always recommend to people, especially if you have a new dog, to kennel train them properly, um, meaning that whenever you leave they're okay to stay in their kennel while you're gone because that's the structure that they need. Um, with my own dogs, like Spanner, I um, leave them with a bone or something to chew inside of their, their kennel um, to help soothe them and, and give them that, uh, I guess, outlet for that. Um, yeah, so uh, thanks again, Jade, for the question. I hope that I've helped you out. And uh, anybody else who has questions, feel free to post them on my Facebook page, Doghouse Rules. Thank you very much.